Have you ever wondered if the ghostly whispers of slavery still linger in our society today? What if the echoes of the past still shape our present? This is more than a documentary. It's a wake-up call to the everlasting heritage that connects us all, exposing the truth about slavery and its impact. Today is a fascinating investigation of history's shadows. Discover forgotten chapters, hear the echoes of chains that still resound in our society, and learn about the devastating impact of a secret tale. It challenges preconceptions, revealing unseen facts that remain in the minds of our collective consciousness. It is constructing a story that begs to be told in our modern world. As we peel back the layers of darkness, we must not forget the lives that were lost, families torn apart, and the enduring impact of the haunting history of slavery. It is a vivid peek into a time when humanity was treated as a commodity, kept in awful conditions, and punished for unimaginable crimes. Hear the terrible stories of men, women, and children who faced horrible tragedies that defied explanation. Are we truly free from the chains that history has created? Let's dig deeper and figure it out. Chapter 1. The Historical Context it delves deep into the profound historical roots of slavery, navigating a tapestry of oppression that lasted centuries and touched various cultures worldwide. The transatlantic slave trade emerged as a prime point, a dark, tragic period in history that saw millions of Africans forcibly transported across the ocean to the Americas. This brutal activity, motivated by economic greed and racial hate, marked unparalleled levels of human suffering. It clearly illustrates the horrible circumstances on slave ships, where people were packed like cargo in miserable and abusing surroundings and exposed to unimaginable horrors. However, the narrative goes beyond the Atlantic to include the forced labor systems in Asia, shedding light on the diverse manifestations of slavery across the globe. The stories of enslaved individuals are brought to life, each one a monument to human determination. The Middle Passage was a nightmare danger that saw families separated, horrible circumstances, and a shocking 12% death rate. Surprisingly, by 1820, over four Africans had crossed the Atlantic for every European, with Africa comprising four out of every five women. The majority of enslaved Africans were transported to the Caribbean and South America, influencing population trends in the western part of the world. In comparison to the American South's plantations, the massive holdings in the West Indies seemed insignificant. What distinguished the United States from other enslaved civilizations was its near-balanced gender ratio and the capacity of enslaved people to grow via natural reproduction. The complexities of birthing in difficult circumstances show a tragic reality, with newborn death rates twice that of white babies. In the case of health and death, the enslaved people faced a variety of diseases, ranging from beriberi to pellagra, showing the harsh toll of both the Atlantic slave trade and cruel working conditions. The domestic slave trade grew, moving 1.2 million Americans inside the South and exceeding the horrors of the previous transatlantic journey. The brutal destruction of families, along with the huge effect caused by internal migration, emerges as a sad chapter in American history. It goes deep into history and tells how slavery has left an indelible mark on societies influencing cultural, economic, and political landscapes. It emphasizes the intergenerational trauma that has endured to this day, highlighting the need for a deep understanding of the lasting impact of this terrible past. Despite the depressing historical account, it weaves in narratives of resistance, highlighting the extraordinary courage of those who dared to disobey the chains that bound them. These stories become beacons of hope, emphasizing the power of the human spirit's ability to win over hardship. Here, we are compelled to ask, in what ways can our understanding of the horrible impact of historical slavery shape our responsibility to create a more just and equitable world today? Chapter 2. The American Experience Imagine being taken away from your home, bound in chains, with no new clothes, insufficient food, and nowhere comfortable to sleep. This was the harsh reality for millions of enslaved Americans for over two centuries. It is the core of the story. 
The American experience of slavery begins with the haunting journey across the Atlantic. Enslaved Africans were tied down and imprisoned below the decks for weeks or even months on crowded, disease-ridden ships. Survival was not guaranteed due to the awful conditions. Those who made it to the British colonies in America faced a future of forced labor and unthinkable misery. The auction block was a traumatic scene where families were torn apart. Enslaved individuals stood on raised platforms, treated as commodities, and sold to the highest bidder. Families might be separated at any moment since the law considered them property. The emotional toll of this forced separation was immeasurable, with husbands, wives, and children sent to different owners, often never to be reunited. The life of slaves was marked by constant labor. Although some worked in their master's house, the majority suffered in the fields, cultivating crops such as cotton, tobacco, and sugar. Life on the plantation was particularly difficult, especially during harvest season. The fear of punishment hung over those who failed to pick enough cotton, adding yet another layer of misery to their already painful existence. Housing conditions for enslaved people were extremely poor. Families were often forced to live together in small, badly built cabins, which provided little privacy. Basic needs, such as clothing, were often insufficient further emphasizing the great difference between the lives of the enslaved and their owners. Escape attempts were frequent, but the path to freedom was dangerous. The Underground Railroad, which consisted of a series of safe houses and secret routes, offered some hope. Enslaved individuals, led by coded messages in songs such as Follow the Drinking Gourd, headed on hazardous travels to the north, hoping to find liberty in free states or Canada, Enslaved individuals were able to find comfort in the midst of their difficult circumstances through their community, culture, and religion. They used songs to communicate messages of rebellion and hope. Religious gatherings were especially important, giving them both spiritual strength and a rare chance for communal interaction. This is a story of immense determination, resistance, and the unbreakable human spirit. As we look back at history, we witness the cruelty of the past and acknowledge its significant effect on the present. The offspring of those who survived this dark era still play an important role in shaping our nation, with their narratives standing as a tribute to their strength and ongoing fight for justice. Chapter 3. The Global Legacy the global legacy of slavery is a story that mingles shadows of oppression with glimmers of survival and cultural reinvention. The echoes of slavery fall across continents in the labyrinth of time, leaving an everlasting mark on the tapestry of human history. Whispers Across Continents The United Nations General Assembly named 2004 the International Year of Commemoration and Freedom Against Slavery. This event marked the beginning of a global journey to address the haunting legacy of slavery's past. It was the conclusion of efforts to untangle the threads that connect us to a dark history and encourage meaningful dialogue among cultures and civilizations. Over the past decade, there has been a notable increase in exhibitions, conferences, and initiatives aimed at addressing the long-lasting effects of slavery. While most of the attention has been focused on the transatlantic slave trade and liberation movements in the Atlantic world, this seeks to shed light on the often ignored impact of slavery in Asia, the Pacific, and Europe. Slavery's presence in these regions may not be widely acknowledged in national histories, but its effects continue to linger on the edges. Manning argues that slavery is a long-lasting symbol of unfairness in how humans are treated. This idea proves true as we look at forced labor in Australia, the struggles of criminals in penal colonies, the Portuguese slave trade in India, and the Dutch colony was driven by profit from nutmeg production. A post-colonialist viewpoint reveals how Caribbean slavery's legacy is closely linked to capitalism, imperialism, and the globalization of sugar consumption. By bringing to light forgotten stories, we come across the children who were forced to work in sugar plantations in the West Indies and the everlasting spirit of the Martiniquan Maroons. The fight for Creole identity takes place against the backdrop of Le Morne Brabant a symbol of both slavery and resistance in the memory of Mauritians. We witness the power of art and literature in shaping the debate surrounding slavery. The Amistad case and Afra Ben's Orunoko become canvases for counter-hegemonic narratives to form. 
the arts are transformed into a fight for reclaiming tales, we are left with a profound realization. The legacy of slavery is not restricted to the history books. It dominates our present, challenging us to address the wounds of the past. The global impact of slavery encourages us to engage in a discussion that crosses borders, cultures, and civilizations, paving a path toward understanding, healing, and a shared future. One cannot help but wonder, how can we actively contribute to a future where culturally innovative thinking and resilience win over the shadows of oppression, producing a truly unified and compassionate society by realizing the historical injustice across continents? Chapter 4 Unseen Consequences Beyond the usual image of rich white oppressors and enslaved black individuals, this delves into the universal presence of slavery in various cultures throughout history. The term slavery is not limited to fields. Its insidious forms persist, fueled by societal divisions. How slavery fuels racism, leaving an enduring mark on race relations. The impact is visible as seen by the persistence of racial tensions despite the end of slavery in the 1800s. The rise of white supremacy, which maintains a false concept of inherent superiority based on skin color, is a subtle but widespread effect. The aftermath of slavery continues to impact society with lasting consequences that are often unseen. The descendants of enslaved people face social, economic, and structural inequalities as a result of generational trauma. The scars of the past can be seen in racial grudges and defensive attitudes among the generations of the enslaved. Even in the 21st century, racism still exists, exposing people of color to unequal treatment and emphasizing the urgent need for broad action to address the legacy of slavery. It emphasizes that slavery had a negative impact on humanity, creating division and maintaining harmful stereotypes. As society progresses, it is increasingly important for us to raise awareness and take collective action against these ongoing injustices in order to build a safer and more equitable world for everyone. Here we ask, how can we collectively remove the ongoing systems of racism understanding that its roots are closely linked with the legacy of slavery and make way for a future where equality, justice, and unity win. Chapter 5, Road to Healing. It emerges as a dynamic force, weaving through the tapestry of history and modern struggle. It is a moving journey where the echoes of previous oppression resonate in the challenges faced by communities today. Slavery's wounds, though deeply carved, serve as canvases for empowerment and transformation. The pages of this book come alive with the voices of individuals who refuse to be defined by their history and instead utilize it as a catalyst for change due to interviews, research, and personal accounts. The narrative becomes a call to action, inspiring everyone to actively participate in deconstructing oppressive structures and building a future founded on equality. This enables them to participate in the continuous recovery story by engaging, empathizing, and actively contributing to it, leaving them fascinated by the transformational power of understanding and compassion. It is a powerful revelation that enables us to witness the transformative journey from historical shadows to present-day resilience. It reveals not just the scars of slavery, but the strong spirits. Through compelling narratives and profound insights, it becomes a call to action, urging society to confront its past, eliminate systemic injustices, and actively engage in the ongoing narrative of healing and equality. As we confront this history, we must ask ourselves, how can acknowledging the past influence our collective future, and what role can we play in breaking the persisting chains of injustice?